Hi YouTube! It's been a while. I am doing a get ready with me today featuring some new products I got from Glossier. I've never tried the brand before but I know it's popular with a lot of people, especially being a smaller beauty company that has a lot of interesting and unique products and very nice packaging as well. I am supposed to go out with dinner with some friends. Well, my friend and a couple other friends I'm meeting for the first time and I'm not feeling so great. And I'm all in my cozy clothes because I've been working from home. So I'm trying to get myself pumped up and get myself more confident to meet these people. So <laughs> thought I'd film a quick rent ready with me and also try on the products at the same time, so two for one. Here's the inside of the box. Very nice. I remember my ex's little sister was very into Glossier. She's a design student, so she's super into fonts and packaging. But interestingly, it did come in the bubble wrap case, but it is open. I'm not sure why. I ordered during Black Friday, so I got all these items at a discount. Got four different items, and I'll show you them in a bit. And then I also got a free little You Look Good mirror that came with it. I'm probably gonna give this to my boyfriend, to be honest, because I don't really need a compact mirror, and he loves checking out his hair, so this will be a nice little stocking stuff. I will say this feels like it's made out of acrylic or something, so it already has a few scratches on the surface, which is not super great. But it's really cute. It has the little Glossier logo on the back as well. It comes with a little holiday sticker as well, and a sample of the infamous cloud paint, so I might try that as well. I did not order that this time, but I'm very interested in trying this out. Also, the inside of the box is so cute. Now that's out of the way, I will check out what I got. It's been a while since I ordered, so I kind of forgot. So I got the stretch concealer in the shade, I think it's G8. Yeah, this packaging is really nice. Feels super luxe. It's glass. It's a glass jar with a silver cap. It feels pretty heavy, so. This is, uh, yeah, shade G8. I believe that's a medium neutral color. And then I got the boy brow. Interested to try that as well. I also got the Lash Slick Mascara. Heard good things about that, so we'll see. Also got the Brow Flick. I think I was gonna save this for my mom. I don't really use eyebrow pencils, but we can test that out today. Then I also got the Pro Tip Liquid Black Eyeliner. So I guess I'm gonna have to change into my contacts to let those eye products on, so we'll be right back. All right, contacts are on. I'm gonna start with the stretch concealer and see how that works. My skin has been pretty good for the most part, but I am breaking out around where my glasses are and there's some old scarring on my cheeks and uh, a couple new guys on my forehead, so. I will try to cover those spots. So just dipping my finger in here. This texture is quite silky, which is interesting. And it looks kind of like foundation on my finger. So we will see how this works. I'm a little concerned since it's quite wet and when it's slick which might mean it has some oil and my skin is already a little bit oily so 
We'll see how this lasts. I'm just using the viewfinders in here right now. And up here. Yeah, my forehead is definitely darker than the rest of my skin, so it might not blend so well up here. I will probably have to blend some eyeshadow in to make that look a little less conspicuous. And then the scarring on my cheeks. Yeah, so first impression is that it's a little bit greasy, but uh, it blends well into my own grease, so we'll see how it lasts. <laughs> if I look tired, it's because I just woke up from a nap. I fell asleep after eating some fried rice and a couple slices of my homemade milk bread. And I'm thinking more and more that I probably have gluten allergy because I tend to get really tired after eating bread or a lot of carbs, so I might want to get that tested. <laughs> it's a little dusty, but here's my little bottle of the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. So I got a little drop here, I'm just going to put that under my eyes to reduce some puffiness and dark circles. I don't know if this really makes a difference, but it makes me feel a little bit better. I am pretty much caffeine free at this point, but on my skin, it shouldn't be too bad, right? So there we go. I'll let that sink in for a little bit. I guess we'll try the boy brow next. I got this in a dark brown shade, I believe. Yes, the brown shade. So, does anyone else hate these little boxes? Like, they press pretty hard to get it out. I'd prefer if they didn't come with these little boxes. It's just a waste of paper anyway. All right, so here's the packaging. Glossier Boy Brow. Very simple, I like it. On the bottom it has the shade. Very tiny, I will say. And the formula looks pretty creamy, kind of loose, looser than I expected. We will see how that works on the brows. Anyone else been working from home? If so, how's it been going? As I said, I just woke up from a nap, but I did put in my work after the nap. <laughs> but yeah, I've been kind of in and out of my job. Um, I don't think my boss really cares, but yeah. <laughs> Anyone else doing the same thing? Let me know in the comments. I mean, I get my stuff done even if I'm not working all the time. So, maybe my technique can use some work and I should probably pluck my eyebrows. I do like it. It's pretty dark. Yeah, I think it's really good. It's better than the sample I was using, which was a little dry. My brows definitely look more defined. I'm gonna go get my eyelash curler and tweezers. My boyfriend is playing Final Fantasy right now since the new expansion just launched and he's pretty excited. I am not as excited but I started playing so should log on once the hype has died out. Well, might as well film some before. And after shots. Okay, that's probably good enough. I think I'm probably running out of time right now. Next, we are trying to try the Lash Slick Mascara. I'm pretty sure this is in black. This is quite cute. It's a pink tube. And it has a lot on the other side. A little G on the top. I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes. Here it is. 
long kind of brush skinny with little spikes interesting so i don't think this will do much to my lashes but it'll probably look pretty natural So far, I do really like it. It is definitely lengthening and separating, but not too much in the way of volumizing, I think. So we'll see how that lasts. And then I think the last thing I ordered that we'll try today is the liner. So I'm gonna stick that on. Also a cute little pink tube. So this is a brush tip liner. I'm just gonna draw that on off camera. Okay, so first impressions. I'm not a huge fan of the brush tip. It's pretty easy to draw with. Yes, the formula is not so great though. It was skipping a lot on this eye. And this eye actually did better. But you can see there's some spots where it's not as thick. Um, so I had to go over it a couple of times. So I will continue using this and see how I like it. And very last thing, I'll try the cloud paint. And then I really have to go. So I take a picture of my outfit later. So I'm trying the lighter of the two. I think it's called Puff, the sample a little pink so dab that on real quick do you like the consistency very smooth and silky like the stretch concealer it's very subtle so i definitely seen people build this up but i really don't have the time so i'm just gonna do this really quick I'm gonna head out the door and i will take a picture of my photo maybe some photos in the restaurant if I'm feeling good um, and oh yeah I did want to try putting on this hair oil um, my sister introduced me to it it's the Chi silk infusion it's really good for restoring hydration to your roots and a little goes a long way I already got too much I think it's very oily I'm gonna rub that in my roots because they're dry as fuck after bleaching once again I was going to dye my hair peach this week and I don't know when I'll have time because I'm literally busy every day um, maybe tomorrow during the day would be good Let's work great who needs to do that <laughs> so yeah I'm already looking a lot better more healthy shiny so that is all for now. I will take some photos of my outfit if I have time. Um, but otherwise, that is all for my review right now. I did not try the brow flick. I'm going to save this for my mom. This is the finished makeup look for now. Pretty natural and subtle. Um, but yeah, I really don't wear very much makeup anymore. So. So I didn't get a photo of my outfit before, but this is after dinner. My makeup still looks good.